false positives, false positives and negatives. Let's see if I can do this here. We could have a system set up. Let's, let's take a look at this a couple of different ways. We have IDSs, IPSs, Um, you know, we're looking for malware detection. And the job of all these is to block bad stuff. So, and sometimes it's kind of hard to determine what's a true positive, what's a true negative, what's a false positive. So, when and I've got a map here of good and bad and allow and deny. So I'll say number one, when bad traffic is number two, denied, that's your true positive. So that's the job of an IDS malware protection or uh, IPS. Their job is to block bad stuff. When they see something bad, they block it. That's a true positive. So that means when good traffic is allowed, that's your true negative. So negative means to allow, positive means to deny. So your positives will be vertical and your negatives will be vertical. A false negative means bad traffic has been allowed. A false positive means good traffic has been denied. Okay, so you can use that to help for the exam. But this is different for authentication. When we're dealing with authentication, Your true positive and true negative are different. Because the purpose of an authentication system, let's draw this again. <clears throat> when good, bad, allow, deny. And so the purpose of an authentication system, you know, where you use a thumbprint or iris scan or a login and a password is to allow good people. So again, your positives, positive means to allow in this case, and a true negative means <clears throat> when a bad person is denied. It's working properly. So your false positive means when a bad person is allowed, when a good person is denied, that's a false negative. So I use that to help me for the exam because they're gonna ask you false positives and negatives about different devices. I find that this grid helps me. <clears throat> 